tell me what you know about what is going on with the child right now and what you know about the investigation into uh, the disappearance of the mother. Well, we know, um, Dr. Phil, first, thank you for having me. We know that um, Ms. Leela um, arrived in Florida around July 26, 2020, and her last known location was in Hollywood, Florida, particularly at Walmart. Um, and about three days later, July 29th, her son, two-year-old Camden, was found in Miramar at some apartment complex called Edgewater Apartments. That's about roughly two and a half to three miles away from the Walmart. Um, we know he didn't get there on his own, and we're trying to figure out how he got there and where his mom is at the moment. Well, that, that's just astounding that he was found that far away from the vehicle. What did the FBI tell you about a man she was allegedly seen with? And I think this was in Fort Lauderdale, is that correct? Oh, that's correct. He's believed to be the boyfriend of a young lady who's currently here in Hollywood, Florida. They wouldn't release her name. He was, from my understanding, detained by the Hollywood Police Department and released. Um, at the moment, he's in, according to his Facebook status, he's in Texas. Okay, so this girl was in the hospital, that's right, and knows that the man that we're talking about, this was her boyfriend? Yes. And did they question him? They did. I'm not sure the line of questioning, but they did question him. There was not enough to keep him, which is why they let him go. Okay. And so they do know his name. They do. Okay. But he's left Florida and gone to Texas. Do they know where he is at this point? I mean, if they want to talk to him further, can they? Uh, they can. They do have his contact information. Is he a person of interest or just someone that they've talked to? It's just someone that they, that they talked to. I see. And how did the girl that's in the hospital get involved in this? What's her role in all this? Did she know Leela? They're not sure if she knew her. They just know the guy that she's um, that she was with knows her. She had refused to talk to the FBI the first time that they spoke with her, and I'm not sure if she spoke to them the second time that they went up. Well, Javarin, it's from a psychological perspective, this two-year-old if he is known to family members, he lived with her sister for a period of time, so he knows her. If he has constructive knowledge of this, he's most likely to feel comfortable with family members and disclose what he knows to them uh, rather than in a strange foster care setting. Is there a possibility of getting him back with family members? Well, I know here in Florida, um when it comes down to juvenile situations, they are very confidential in the proceedings. I can speak on the procedure, but not necessarily about Cam's case itself. I will say this, that it's generally speaking, because there's three different jurisdictions involved. We have Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. It won't be a walk in the park to get Cam with family. What has happened though, is there was a, supposed to be a hearing this past Monday, that didn't go because there was a motion that was filed that was not contested. And that motion was for visitation with the maternal side of the family, Miss uh, Tina Kirby. And they were granted visitation via Zoom because of COVID reasons. But for now, we do have visitation with the family. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction, but I work an awful lot with DCFS and I work an awful lot in the foster care system. And I know that the first alternative that they always look to are blood relatives, if they can put a child with family safely, with healthy, good family members, that's their first alternative. So I would think that that would be something that would certainly be on the table, would be a possibility here, and it could also aid the investigation as well. I'm sure you agree with that. I do, and I will say from the time I've spent with Ms. Kirby and her family that the maternal family is the right family to put him with. That's the family that he's most familiar with. They've loved and cared for him since day one. 